Hi there, welcome back to Creatively Crafted Life. My name is Melanie and this is my final installment in my little Ready, Set, Create, Project, Share mini series. And this is the final mini album that I made during the event. The class was taught by Lael Conker, who is amazing at doing <laughs> mini albums. I've taken a few of her classes now and I love all of them. This one's really fun. It has an acrylic um, cover to it. It's like a plexiglass, I guess, maybe, or acrylic sheet. She probably just bought these at, you know, uh, the hardware store or whatever, but they've been trimmed down to about five by seven and then a couple binder rings to make this album. Now, this collection of paper that she used is by my mind's eye. It is Gingham Foundry. It is gorgeous. And I actually had just recently purchased this. They had a sale. And so I've got more of this in my stash to play with. Okay, so first of all, it opens up. There's a little bit of decorative items on the acrylic cover itself and then an opening page. You could put a photo or something on here, but to be honest, this is just so pretty. I would probably leave it as is, especially as this forms the cover. On this side here, there is a pocket that you can tuck items in. There's a pocket page, so you would actually um, pull out the mat to add the photo and then in attach it inside. Same goes for the opposite side. This one here is just another basic um, photo mat. Um, we did put some pom-pom trim on the edge, which is a lot of fun. Here's room for about probably three by three photos. This side here, we've got a little flip out, lots of space for photos. And on the back side, oh, isn't it just so pretty? Again, I don't know if I would cover this up. It's just too pretty. <laughs> We got another uh, pocket page. This is one with two three by fours. And then of course you've got the same on the opposite side. Here's another flip up, only this time it goes this way. So again, lots of space for photos and journaling. Journaling prompt all ready to go. She gave us this uh, numbered acetate sheet. How fun is that? Again, do I, am I going to put anything in here? Probably not, but it sure is fun to have in the album. A big photo mat, followed by a couple more photo mats. This side here is um, a, a fold out, but it does have a belly band that's securing it. You open it up. Lots of room for photos and journaling. How pretty is this paper? And that just tucks back in. And on this side, it's also a fold up, but it goes the opposite direction. We then had a piece of acetate in the middle where we added a sticker. Plain piece of paper. And then we've got two diagonal pockets to insert pictures and journaling cards. This is also another pocket here. And I do have a photo mat already tucked in this one. Photo mat. This is a really fun pop out. It actually folds out this way. Slightly smaller dimension, which is again fun when you have mini albums is to play around with different sizes. And then when you flip it, these both open out like so. This is another fun insert. It's just a strip of paper with three by four cards adhered to it. Again, just switching things up to give a little bit of variety. This is a four by six pocket and um, lots, again, lots of space for photos. And then we end the album with that really pretty paper again with a couple little banners and notes just to add maybe some, um, to add a date. And even, you know, if you were giving this as a gift, you know, made by or something to that effect. And then the back of the acrylic album is another one of those really pretty stickers. So that is my third and final mini album. This was such a fun event. 
Um, they do <laughs> sell out really quickly. I think they have a waiting list. Actually, I think I was on the waiting list for a couple of years before I was able to get on. So if this is something you are interested in, um, you know, that's likely what's going to happen, but it's fantastic. It's, you know, just over $300, but you get six classes plus more. Um, it's just a lot of fun. And I haven't even been to the in-person one. So if you want to check that out, I will try and leave the link below. And I hope you enjoyed this mini series. And until next time, happy crafting.